And that breaking news is in San Joaquin County this afternoon. Minutes ago, finally got the green light there from the state to move through phase two of reopening. That means that dine-in restaurants and retailers will finally get to reopen there. It's San Joaquin County, the second most populated in our area and the last to get this approval. CBS 13's Renee Santos is live in Lodi with how the waiting game has been painful for a lot of businesses, Renee. Yeah, now imagine that big sigh of relief for all the businesses down this business corridor here on School Street near Oak Street. San Joaquin County getting approval just 20 minutes ago, the last county in our area. That wait game has been a nightmare. I spoke to one business owner who says she's lost thousands of dollars. You get the hometown feel in Lodi. This entire town is pretty much built on small businesses. So when a big chunk of the town has to change the way it does business, it hurts big time. Our communities are dying. We're dying a slow death because we're not allowed to open. Good afternoon, Jillian's Consignment Boutique. This is Marika. Marika Padanostro owns Jillian's Consignment Boutique. Balancing money to pay bills the past two months has been a nightmare. It's about $15,000. Is what you lost in lost, lost revenue. She's lost about 75 percent of her monthly income. Right now, I'm sitting at $1,200. Normally, you'd be sitting at five to six thousand. Easy. San Joaquin County is one of the last for approval from the state to move further into stage two. It would allow people to a certain capacity back inside businesses like Marika's and Taylor Everett's. Just working a little bit harder, you know, and this is growing character. She owns Hometown Nutrition and has been making to go shakes and teas. While she waits to allow people back inside her store. And I've watched my numbers take a little hit. Um, I know I'm not in that boat alone. And I know once we get that lift, that people will start coming in. The weight game has been financially draining for Marika. She is now selling essential products like hand sanitizer to help with money flow, but says the people are what she and other small business owners need. Just being open, just even having five people in here at a time would definitely help me tremendously. And now the big question is when some of these businesses will be able to start to reopen. I checked online the Public Health Department's website. San Joaquin County says they plan on reopening as soon as tomorrow. All right, we'll wait and see then. Thanks so much, Renee.